Okay, so I got the car lifted. Y'all probably already knew this, but this wheel will not fit on that car because of these right here. I tell you, Kyle, uh, we went to pick up an RX-8 this morning. It was a stick show. See the boosted juke? My little sister said the juke looked better than the BMW. She said it looked faster than the BMW, and I'm not surprised. Look at that. That is speed. This is a turd. You just want to make sure it's at least 90 to 100 PSI. It's a little rusty. Um, got this from my grandpa. Cut! You see the Mustang over here in the cut? This is actually my third video, y'all, since I've basically left Orlando. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy BK with the boosted juke in the back. You already know what we're doing. So as y'all see by the title of the video, I took delivery of a new car. It's like three, four days later since I bought the car. And I just been fixing the car, um, doing a bunch of stuff. I'm currently swapping my wheels to put on the um, BMW. Hopefully they fit. Y'all just let me know if... Nissan Jukes and BMW 325i's got the same boat pattern. But yeah, this is the car, y'all. Um, I haven't showed y'all the car yet. Cause like I said, I've been working on it and I was just finna go ahead and put the wheels on it. But I was like, let me go ahead and give y'all a little peek of what it did look like before the wheels. Um, I've already washed the car up, got it looking pretty clean. I gotta get this um piece right here. And if y'all follow me on Facebook, Insane Car Reviews, I did a, not really a tutorial, but it was a before and after. If y'all can see how foggy that light is, I put toothpaste and cleared the light up. Like, big difference. Let me step back so y'all can see it. I look at the lights, y'all. Um, it's still a little moisture on it because it's morning time right now. And I just woke up, but I'm like, um, before I switch the wheels, let me go ahead just pull out the camera and show y'all the car real quick um, without the wheels. And the only reason why I'm doing the wheels now is because I got to check the brakes because this car really don't got no brakes. Um, and it's just, what was I finna say? I don't even know what I was finna say. I, I would have been put the wheels on it day one, but I don't have to change car, coil packs, spark plugs, um, mouth airflow sensor, um, what is the um, power steering pump? All of that. So once I finish getting the car right, then I'll put the wheels on it. The only thing left is a mouth airflow sensor and um, the power steering pump. So, um, and I would have waited. Look at the stern. I hope y'all can't see my mailbox number. But I would have waited to put the wheels on since I got to go ahead and take off all the wheels to put on brakes. I'm on a swirl when I'm changing the brakes, change the wheels as well. And I'm going to be here all day because I have, okay, I got two jacks, but it's only one of me. Um, So I got to jack the Nissan up, take the wheel off the Nissan, put the factory wheel on the Nissan, then drop the Nissan, jack this up, take the factory wheel off of the BMW, then put the um custom wheel on the BMW, get these wheels on. I'll cut the camera back on. Let me see. They dirty because it just rained last night, and that is dirt. Um, not like rust or anything, or the paint peeling. Like, I just washed the car. We got dirt down there. But, yeah, um, I haven't washed these wheels. I washed these wheels once on the Nissan, I believe. After I put the wheels on the Nissan, I washed the wheels. But after that one time washing it, Maserati... Or is that a Lexus or a Mazda? I don't know. I think that was a Lexus. Yo, so after I washed the, um, put the wheels on the car and washed it the first time, I didn't wash this car again. It look okay now because um, it just rained outside. But that wheel looks rough. Look even more where I'm rough because it don't have a center cap. And y'all seen the top line of the green spray paint. I got a video of me painting these wheels, but I didn't really post it, y'all. Like, I just got a lot going on. You see the Mustang over here in the cut? This is actually my third video, y'all, since I have basically left Orlando. Where I recorded a video leaving Orlando, packing up, blase, blase. Uh, started another video on the interstate. And then we got this video here, y'all. So, y'all probably not going to get this video till like, the middle uh, next week or uh, middle of this week because it is sunday but um yeah the mustang dirty 
But y'all yeah, probably not gonna get the car video no time soon because I still got two videos to post before this and I still got to edit the videos, but we just gonna see um everything shakes, y'all. I may go to North Carolina this month. May end up having to wait until next month to go. We gonna see y'all. So let me just get back to work and I'll cut the camera back on when we get somewhere. This actually gonna be in the middle of the video. So I don't want it to be at the beginning. So I like there go the car y'all. I had to fix the spark plugs and um hopefully after I change the spark plugs it'll run a little better. I should have got some driving footage of me bringing it home, but oh well. Let's just take a look at it. You see the boosted juke. My little sister said the juke looked better than the BMW. She said it looked faster than the BMW. And I'm not surprised. Look at that. That is speed. This is a turd. Um, but yeah, this car, it's a 04 BMW um 325. Uh you see it got the leaves in here. Just need a little TLC, y'all. Right now I'm just changing the spark plugs. We're doing a compression test on the spark plugs, making sure we're on the on the cylinders. I don't know if y'all can see that. We're doing a compression test on the cylinders, making sure everything working properly. So when we get somewhere, I'll cut the camera back on. All right, so I'm so used to recording like a 30 second video and be like, I'm gonna cut the camera back on when we get somewhere, but might as well just keep it rolling. So if I break something, y'all can watch me break it. So I'm not sure how to take these, hold this car. Just show them the car, this car pack. So I'm not sure how to um, take off these coil packs. I've never worked on German, there we go. Never worked on German engineering. Um, a little spicy, a little hot. Yes, uh, show them the workbench. So you see we got um, a couple of coil packs out, well three coil packs out, two spark plugs out. We got the compression tester, big BMW, you see it. We just gonna pull the spark plug out and see what it look like, y'all. Um, like I got a headache, me and my dad this morning, I forgot to tell you, Kyle, um, we went to pick up an RX-8 this morning. It was a stick shelf. Um, he was responding back very slow. He gave me his address. I don't tell. He gave me the address. Um, it was like, pull up. So, me and my dad was on the way to get him. He was in like the Funiac. That's like, I think it was 40 minutes away, so not too far. But by the time we got on the road, he texted me. Dang it. That's still, we're gonna have to call you back still. I'm not sure if I'm taking this spark plug out or putting it back in. That's really how long this day been, y'all. I'm just gonna change these spark plugs. Hopefully it's just the spark plugs. I don't need any coil packs or anything like that. Um, Let's see what it look like. So this one ain't too bad. I guess y'all can be the judge of that. Compared to the other ones, I don't know if it's focusing for y'all. But compared to the other ones, this one don't look too bad. So um, we finna do a compression test on it and then we'll see what the cylinder talking about. So this is all you need for a compression test. You just wanna make sure it's at least 90 to 100 PSI. It's a little rusty, um, got this from my grandpa. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it in here. And then you just tighten it up. Tighten it up. I don't know if it's tightening. All right, so we tight. And then we just turn the engine over. He finna cut the engine over. So let's see what it do, y'all. Cut! There you go. So you see we went up to, that's like 100 PSI. That's good. We're gonna relieve all the, relieve all the air out of it. Yep, there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it on compression testing, y'all. Um, I feel like all the cylinders got compression. So, got compression. I don't know, got pressure. We got two spark plugs on to the next one. Yeah, so you see it. This is the spark plug, y'all. This is not finna be a DYI or how to change the spark plugs because my battery is actually finna die. So um, I'm finna plug my phone up so we can have a charged battery. I get the car running. So with the spark plug, you just wanna put it in the spark plug hole. My grandpa told me to check it. Let me sit, not sit out too loud, but he want me to check the gaps on it. 
Um, I hope these spark plugs are prig out. We just gonna stick them in here and see what it do. But yeah, so after I get the car back running and everything put back together, we'll cut the camera back on. So until then, see y'all on the flip side. All right, gang, so I got the car lifted. Y'all probably already knew this, but this wheel will not fit on that car because of these right here. What kind of lug nuts are these? Somebody comment down below and tell me. Uh, my classmate, roommate, whatever he is, he just told me I need to get adapter. He said I know after I done put the factory wheel back on night. Luckily, I didn't take all of them off, but I'm still finna end up taking them off today. Dang, man, I really wanted to put these wheels on the Beamer W. Beamer W. I wanted to put these wheels on the BMW, bro. So now I'm probably, I'm probably by some custom wheels or some aftermarket wheels for the BMW that'll fit because this ain't gonna fit y'all and I still got to figure out how to take off the um wheel because I got to check my brakes I still can't get the wheel off yeah y'all I don't know what's going on but god dang I'm out here freezing but it's all good dang I really wanted these wheels y'all Dang. I ain't tripping though, y'all. I may paint these black. Should I paint them black? Because they do, they look clean from a distance, but if you get up on them, I already washed them. Like the paint pillar. Like some cement. They have driven some cement. So I don't know what they had going on. But yeah, my wheel is not going to fit. I'm finna see if I can take the wheel off of this car and probably drop it and just i don't know like i gotta look at the brakes y'all i can't even check the brakes so i'm gonna hit my classmate back up i'm gonna hit up google see how to take off a tire so let's get it let's go